Good afternoon, everybody. This is Laditra from Roberta's House. And today we're going to talk a little bit about summer resources with Roberta's House. I'm Laditra Johnson. I'm a school-based coordinator here at Roberta's House. And I'm going to allow my colleagues to introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Dorenza Thomas. And I am the manager of youth services for Roberta's House. And we're glad to have you here with us today. Hi everyone, my name is Ali Lothar. I am the special projects coordinator at Roberta's House and also one of the co-clinical directors for our Camp Aaron Baltimore program. All right, so during our time of quarantine, we know you guys are, all of us are kind of stuck in the house, but we just want to share with you this today that during quarantine, youth and families have lots of opportunities available to them. And we're gonna talk a little bit about them today. Feel free to ask questions as we move along. So we'll start with programs that we have at Roberta's House currently. Um, this is summer opportunities available for families and youth. Roberta's House is pleased to offer Growing Through Loss, which is our virtual support group for students. And we're offering it this summer. It's not too late for you to get a student um, logged in. Even though we started the 29th, we will continue through the 31st of July, 11 to 12 p.m. We will be on each day of the week, according to the grade levels, besides Fridays from 11 to 12, on Monday through Wednesday, we will be providing groups for students grades kindergarten through eighth. Then on Thursdays, we're doing our teen group, which the students 13 through 17 are welcome to join us. And that teen group is entitled Changing the Game. If you have a teen that's interested in participating in the teen group and you have additional questions, mm -hmm. Please do not hesitate to give us a call at 443-826-0634. The team group will meet on Thursday, so we're meeting tomorrow. And tomorrow's lesson, we will be focusing on race and relations. We would love for your teenager to come join us tomorrow at Changing the Game. We also would like to share with you, we're having a special time of sharing adult group session for, a, for, for adults whose special person has died due to Corona-19. The orientation for that group will take place on July 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. The program begins on Monday, August 3rd, and that is from 6 to 8 p.m. also. Those who are in the Prince George's County area, Washington, D.C. area, you can call to register at 301-880-1500. For Baltimore City and Baltimore County residents, please call 410. 235-6633. All sessions are available by way of Zoom, and we would love to have you. This is a time for you to share with others to understand what's going on regarding your grief, as well as you to understand and realize you're not alone. Thank you. Hey everyone. So due to COVID-19, we had to make the difficult decision to cancel our traditional Camp Aaron Baltimore. Um, so I am really excited about uh, our virtual camp, which will be held August 13th through 15th. So that's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So just two hours. So during that time, uh, campers will have the opportunity to learn positive coping skills, talk about positive coping skills, talk about um, feelings and emotions around their loss, 
and bond and connect with other children their age who have also lost a special person. Uh, this camp is for children ages 6 to 17 who have lost a special person to death. And um, to coincide with the virtual camp, we will be mailing out these camp in a box. And this is something I'm really excited about. This camp in a box will have everything that they will need for the three day camp program. This is kind of a, a little teaser of what might be included in the box. Um, so I can sh show you what, what we might have. So this is a camp t-shirt. Uh, we will be mailing these after camp. Um, we're gonna be sending some art supplies. Um, these are my favorite, the, the smelly, smelly markers. Um, some coping skills, um, you know, bubbles, um, stress balls, my favorite coping skill, which is this lava um, oil lamp. It's great to look at if you're you know, feeling stressed and um, really, really fun. Um, and then the uh, activities that we will be doing um, during those three days will also be included. In addition to uh, some, some grief books, um, grief journals. So very, very excited about um, the virtual camp. This is our first time doing it. Um, so we look forward to, um, to you guys uh, signing up and uh, to be offering camp to you all. So below you'll see on this flyer, you'll see information about how to um, register. So if you are interested in um, this virtual camp, please email me at camparen at robertashouse.org. Or if you would like uh, some more information, you could call Roberta's House at 410-235-6633. Okay, another fun thing we've been doing this summer is story time. So fortunately, next Monday is our last story time, but we do story time from 4.15 to 4.45. And it's just a way to disconnect from everything going on. And you can hop on Zoom with us and um, listen to a story. Adults are more than welcome to come and children um, definitely can come. So we hope to see you next Monday. And the last thing you'll see my face right here. So um, this week we started our new segment called Let's Take a Break with Roberta's House. And this is an opportunity to take just a short 60 second, one minute uh, mindfulness um, moment, just a way to Think about your thoughts, your feelings, um, and mindfulness is extremely important um, and can um, with stress and feelings of being overwhelmed. So please join us every day, just one minute, um, and take a break with Roberta's House. Allie, thank you for that. Um, so then next, uh, Roberta's House, uh, our, our survivor advocacy program, they're offering some drop-in courses for families that have lost anyone and have experienced any type of loss. Um, so our first group is going, their first drop-in session will be Wednesday, um, July 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. And it'll be on dealing with traumatic experiences. Um, then there'll be, and this is specifically for adults and teens. So we would like to ask you to make sure you register, um, email, dterrain at robertashouse.org or call 443-986-3278 to register. Um, there are other, other things listed, but you will not receive, and this will be virtually, you will not receive the links until you register. Someone will contact you. The next one is gonna be on July the 29th um, from six to eight, and that'll be on creating a culture of safety. And this, is, will, this will be specifically for adults and teens. And then the next Wednesday, which will be July 12th, 2020, from six to eight, we, they will be offering community resources. 
uh, specifically resources about law, counseling, and housing. And this is for adults only. And then finally, in person, tentatively based on what's going on with COVID, um, on the 8th, well, I'm sorry, on the 26th of August from 4 to 6, we, they will be doing a workshop on coping with feelings. So bring your children out ages 4 to 12. And the advocates will have outdoor activities, of course, taking physical distancing into account. So please register at dterrain at robertashouse.org or call 443-986-3278 to register. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the, in the box, in the chat, I'm sorry. And then next we have virtual summer opportunities um, that are not Roberta's house, but still great things that families and youth can participate in this summer. And Mr. Renz is gonna start us off. I would like to say, first of all, I love Baltimore. And I love what Baltimore City Department of Parks and Recreation has a virtual camp. And the activities are free. Have you ever wanted to go to the aquarium, but you missed the dollar day, or it was just too expensive? How about this? You can explore the aquarium, the zoo, our various museums, and other special places virtually on this website for free. You want to do some activities. The kids are taught of playing board games. You're taught of looking at them playing the various video games you can get the kids to participate in amazing indoor activities they have here. Your child could learn how to code. You could learn how to code. There's exercise classes. There's so much that's there, including outdoor activities. I just love that if someone wanted to work on their basketball skills, they teach, they have little drills that they can do for dribbling the ball. Or, they, or, or baseball skills. Someone wants to learn more about science, math, and technology. Major resources there. And did I mention you can also learn coding? There's something for everyone to stay active, to stay engaged, and to enjoy Baltimore City virtual parks and recreations. There's also resources that we all are in need of regarding COVID-19 test sites, um, reminders of what to do, always wear our masks, as well as using sanitizer, and the importance of washing our hands, and importance how the times that we will have as relate to if we have been exposed. This website also um, provides information on different places where children can receive meals and where adults would have an opportunity to pick up food to go. Please do not dismiss this. Check it out, Virtual Recreation Center. I love Baltimore. Thank you, Parks and Recreation, for thinking about us. And it's free, people. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lorenza. So next, another community organization, YMCA has thought about us as well. The website is there. Um, and it has some amazing, amazing resources for people of all ages. So first, they're virtual workouts for people of every age. For our kids and teens, especially our teens, there's a wide virtual playlist on YouTube. So that's amazing for our youth to be able to go and have some music to help us cope with being stuck in the house. There are crafts for teens and, ch teens and children. And then for our college students, they thought about you and created college credit, or they have resources or links to college credits for free. Also virtual internships. So please check out this website. For older adults, they have low impact workouts, coloring book activities, and that's just the beginning. So please feel free to check out this resource. Then they also have mindfulness tips you know, being able, like Ali talked about before, to be able to have an escape during this time. And then finally, the healthy recipes. Uh, one of the things that they have on there that looks interesting is the mint chocolate chip shake and the simple That's spring good. rolls. <laughs> exactly. These are activities that families can do together and check it out. And once you check it out, feel free to get back on Roberta's house and let us know how these resources have worked out for you. And any questions, please leave them in our chat. So then next, 
uh, YouTube has gone above and beyond and created a hashtag camp YouTube. And they have five different tracks. I'm sorry, four different tracks. They have a virtual art camp um, that includes not just visual arts, but also music, uh, piano lessons, some ukulele um, lessons as well. Then they have a virtual STEM camp. So science, technology, engineering, and math. And as you can see to our right, there is a robotics tutorial helping you to build your own robot, which is awesome. Virtual sports camps uh, for kids of all ages and then virtual adventure camps. And to simulate this whole camp experience, you have campfire talks, break time, because you want to walk away from the computer for a minute. And then you have some field trips available. So please use the link above and try it out and let us know how it worked out for you. So then next we have um, the National Summer Learning Association. They have some amazing extensive resources for families and children, first starting with academics and literacy. So as you can see to the right, um, there's a read along Monday with Michelle Obama. And as you can see, sometimes President Obama comes on with her. Um, there are also other stories that she's done on her own, but then there's some other information on other stories from other celebrities as well. So please check that out, whether you're a child or an adult, please check it out. Um, and then also for the arts, there is Little Kids Rock. And feel free to watch the kid. They have great activities for the kids to simulate playing instruments. I believe there's some also some play, you know, the music lessons as well on there. Um, and then for wellness, uh, Junior MBA at home has some drills for, for kids that you typically would have went to basketball camp, but there are opportunities for them to learn drills, to participate in different, you know, sports activities. And then also for our science, technology, engineering, and math fans, they have an amazing Skype a scientist. So if there's any, any kids or anybody that you know that's interested in pursuing a science career, feel free to check out that resource, the summerlearning.org. And then there are a boatload of resources for food distribution as well, depending on state. And then there's college, college readiness and mentoring and general parent resources. Please check that out. And then next, we have the Fresh Air Fund. And they have a boatload of resources as well. So first you have Action for Healthy Kids. So that's virtual fitness, healthy eating tips and mindfulness. And check out the Healthy Eating Toolkit, which encourages parents to do family cooking with their children as well. And then we have the National Museum of Natural History. They give you access to types of games for our youth to get them off of Fortnite. Um, it gives access to exhibits and online resources and other materials for families and for teachers. So while you're trying to teachers plan your lesson plans, you can find some beautiful information and tours on here as well. And then the so Fresh Air, they have a lot of New York resources, but those websites are available to us. So there's the New York Botanical Garden website. And to our right, you can see the beautiful picture of cherry blossoms that came from the New York Botanical Garden website where you get to do virtual tours, you learn education about plants and herbs. And then for those of you that want to start your own garden, um, they have an amazing link on there for you to get your garden started. And then you have Next American Text Kitchen and it has a really cool link called Join the Young Chefs Club. So for young people, encouraging them to cook early with, of course with supervision and safety. And then next we have our Queens Library and Brooklyn Library resources. So as I'm speaking, there is a virtual Zumba class going on and they have all types of virtual activities for people of all ages. And I believe tomorrow there's a, or the next event is a photo club for teens. So please check that out. And then finally circle time. So that offers sing-alongs for kids, yoga adventures to get kids moving, things and then the songs, being sung about history to teach our kids education in a way that's fun. And then finally, for our parents that, you know, or, or the biggest thing is for our youth, um, over the summer we found that 
they lose some of their, you know, reading comprehension or lose a lot of the information they learned during the school year. So Edutopia has made a resource for them to not lose this information, but do it and to continue to learn this information in a fun way. So first we have theme books and summer activities for reading provided by Reading Rockets. And they have books that range from bugs, birds, animals, money, dinosaurs, et cetera, so that they can finally read something that they're interested in versus what they have to read for school. Then for our middle school kids, they didn't forget about you. They have books in all different languages, English, Persian, Farsi, German, and Mongolian. So if you know anybody that is looking for books in different languages, feel free to share this resource. And then for all of our future mathematicians, calculate, so the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics got together and created Calculation Nation. For math games, you will have to, you will have to create a profile, but it's really worth it. And I believe it is free. And then for summer learning resources for parents from Read, Write, Think. So it's for kids, parents that have children of all ages to have prompts and printouts for their kids to do to keep those reading and art skills where they language art skills where they need to be so we're hoping that you're getting something from this and that if you have any questions please feel free to post before i go into the roberta's house um pledge i just want to thank everyone for one joining with us and getting knowledge about the various resources that not only Roberta's House is offering, Roberta's House is offering a teen group, we're offering school-based groups, we're offering adult groups that deal exclusively with adults who's had a special person to die due to coronavirus, as well as we're providing Camp Aaron in a box. And those materials will be sent off to those students. Additionally, all the other activities, the mindfulness. We have so much for you all to take advantage of. And don't forget, our services are free. But we're also having a fundraiser. That's right, fundraiser. Roberta's House Crab Feast. It's not going to be the Crab Feast. It's going to be Crabs to Go. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be Saturday, August 8th, from 1 to 4, $60 a dozen. $165 for a half a bushel, $300 for a bushel. And if you are interested, I'll tell you, the crabs come from the Chesapeake Bay. They are amazing. And you could to um, purchase a ticket, the tickets are $60 for if you just wanted a dozen like I just shared, please, go to www.robertashouse.org for more information. You also can contact Ms. Kelly Brooks at 443-627-1187 for more information. Please support us. You know that the services we provide are no cost to the consumer but we cannot provide these services without support team and support for our fundraisers. So hope to see you, check it out. If you like crabs as much as I do, you would. Mm -hmm. So we have a question, Miss Allie, about Camp Aaron. I mean, Ms. Lorenza answered it, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Is Camp okay. Aaron free? And what programs are free that we're offering? Camp Aaron is 100% free. And all our programs <laughs> as the craft feast are free as well. Awesome. Okay, and we'll go back to our pledge. All righty. Roberta's House, we do a pledge. And it's a pledge that we take dear to our hearts. And so I'm going to say it first, and then I want you to say it with me. And it goes like this. I care for you you care for me, and we care for each other. I want everyone to join me at this time. I care for you, you care for me, and we care for each other. Let's say it again. I care for you, 
you, you care, care for me, for me and, we, and we, we care, care for, for each other. other. And we thank you for joining us again. You want, you have any additional questions? We thank you for watching. Please don't hesitate to give us a call at 410-235-6633 or visit Roberta's House website, robertashouse.org. Or if you like some information, info at Roberta's House, O-R-G. This has been Dorenza Thomas. Ladetra Johnson. And Allie Lothar. We care for you. Don't forget to practice social distancing and, and follow the CBT res, um, rules and regulations. Yeah. And we promise you, we will get through this together. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Before we go, we have one more question. I'm sorry. Um, so Kit, we need to talk about the summer drop-in sessions again. So I will go back to that. I'm sorry, guys. Bear with me. Going okay. back to the slideshow. I'm sorry, guys. No problem. I can talk about it. Okay, I'll go back. So the first one starts next Wednesday. And I'm getting to it. And we'll make sure you get that number as well. Okay, so the drop-in sessions are for anyone that has experienced loss, any type of loss. Um, and the next one is July 15th, next Wednesday. From 6 to 8 p.m., you have to email dterrain at robertashouse.org or call 443-986-3278 to register. And that the topic of next week's is going to be dealing with traumatic experiences, and that's for adults and teens. And then the next, the next sessions will be on July the 29th, eight, so August the 12th and then August the 26th. And the August the 26th will be an in-person observing physical distancing by the CDC as well. But that's for children ages four through 12. The, the ones the weeks before will be adults, teens, or just adults. So we'll leave that up for a second. And if you have any more questions, put, please feel free to let us know. And please try the resources we, we talked to you about and please let us know whether they worked for you. And I believe that is it. So thank you yes. guys. You have a great evening. Right. Thank you for taking your time to come share an evening with us. And we hope that you have a safe and wonderful summer. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.